<laughs> well, good day, YouTube. And I got a big can of beer here for me and the Reverend. This is <laughs> no, it's mostly for me. This is Yingling Lager. Here, let me let me go like this. Oh God, Yingling. Uh, how about you hold it towards the middle? There we go. Yeah, this, this is apparently an internet, if you haven't started cluing in yet, because I don't know how many have gone out there. This is my new thing now. It was IPAs to make me freak out. And now it's just weird American beers that are like 73 cents for something this size. It's a buck 89. Well, still under $2. Hey, hey, hey. And that's, that's more expensive than the dollar 29 Genesee. Yep. So this yeah, is a 24 like fluid ounce beer, which to the U.S. is one pint. Eight fluid ounces, where in Canada this would be one pint four fluid ounces. Yeah, yeah, that's one pint here. Um, pint or point? Pint. Like the like a regular pint here with twenty ounces. Twenty ounces yeah. pint here. We have the imperial pints. Yeah. Uh, so four point four percent alcohol is what we found online. Uh, I don't know if this is the uh, well. We're going. It's with the this lager, the, not the premium. Yeah, yes. there's nothing else. Just as lager than the lager. America's oldest brewery. So this is America's oldest brewery. Uh, North America's oldest brewery in Molson. We already went over this. Great tour in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. They also have a brewery in Tampa, Florida. Really? Yes. Yeah. Dick Yingling is the uh, president at the moment. I'm really that actually is somebody's last name. Right from Germany. During Prohibition, they ran an ice cream store. <laughs> That's definitely a switch. Well, an ice cream factory, mm -hmm. which was right across the street from the uh, from the actual brewery. I'm more afraid of the fact that you can fill this entire glass and there will still be plenty left for yourself. Oh well, yeah, actually, I don't think I actually hated the the other one we did for you. No, yeah, I, like. I did. Yeah. And you know what? It's only to the E. And R right now, so I'm gonna hand this over to the oh, to man. the monster. Yeah. God damn it, beer monster. What's right, up? I'm just gonna drink it out of the can. You go right ahead. Just keep that shit classy. Anyway, orangish color. I didn't expect that for a lager at all. That is no. a dark lager. Yeah. Very <laughs> tiny bit of head. Doesn't smell like much. Uh, you get a little bit of malt, and other than that, it doesn't really smell like anything. Anything in the can, much? Not really. You're getting like. Just a lager, lager smell, basically. Yeah, okay. That's it. Let's try her. No, I guess I should cheer as the can. Like the way you work. No diggity. Like a lot. No diggity. No diggity. Bang, bang it up. Um, you know what? Man? It's, it, right. it's a lager. Yeah. I mean, you can't say anything about it. It has a little bit of a roasty flavor, which is probably where the color's coming from. That may make it a little bit darker. But uh, other than that, Nothing really. Uh, it tastes like your average macro lager. And I know Yingling wants to be considered a craft brewery, but it, it just tastes like a macro brewed mm -hmm. lager. But that, that could work for them. Yeah, like if, they're, if you're still like, oh, okay, I want to support the small guy, but I've been raised on fucking Bud and Coors and Bud. Like, you know what? Help out these guys. Then. This has a little bit more flavor, yep. and there's nothing I can complain about with it. Yeah. Um, this is I think I think this is almost the exact same review that we gave for the the other one, the like the lighter whatever, because it really is kind of that. Like, you like the like the regular everyday beers, but here's the little guy version of the regular everyday beer. Yeah, a little bit of a roasty flavor, and after that, it's your average locker flavor. It's refreshing, mm -hmm. it's cold. Um, four point four percent alcohol could still get you drunk. I think um, at the I, price point too, like I at, can the size though. Yeah, no, the, no, the price the price yeah. is pretty good, but I don't know if you'd be able to get drunk off this because of the size. Yeah, because that's a lot intake. So like, like four point four, you're just you you got to drink so much of this to get drunk. Yeah, like that'd be a lot. Like that'd be oh. and like in comparison a, to say Genesee or something. Like man, yeah, I'm going to, you can do it down to them. You're definitely at least starting off. Like on like <laughs> a, on a start off, like we're not supposed to encourage heavy drinking or blah blah blah. We totally do though. But, like, uh, yeah. <laughs> if you drank two of those, that'd be a good starter. Like, okay, we're going out about ten, start that at, like, eight, kind of casually drink one of them throughout each hour, and oh, then go to the bar up, or whatever. Man. Oh, you're going to fill up But that's what I'm saying. If, but if you spread out, like, if you spread, like, one per hour, going up, okay, ten o'clock, now we're going out. I can Maybe. hang out a little bit, grab another drink, ten, ten, thirty. Maybe. You're pretty much be able to have a good start-off point. Because they're really not bad yet. I don't think no, I'm drunk this I have no complaint. I'm going to uh, give it a six-five because I would not go seeking it out. But I would never complain if somebody handed this yeah. to me because the taste is not bad. Uh, it's inoffensive and it's it's light, easy drinking, and yeah. that's all I can ask for from what this is. 
I know. I will do print chain. Yeah, 6 5. Not a bad time in the slightest. Uh, honey faster. Anything? Um, it's basically meh. Out of the can, I don't really detect any much difference between other normal waters. I give it a 5.5. Alrighty. Not a lot of alcohol either, so that's kind Two, of Two six fives and five five. Thank you guys. Bye. <laughs>